So he just dropped that new song, Get Busy. You know that one song with the bell? This song already was turned, but here's a bell. Anyways, the vocals on that are just crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I would go about mixing some vocals like that with all stock plugins in FL Studio. And I'm even gonna make it a template available at quintedbobbit.com. The link will be in the description below. But anyways, if you guys did not know who I am, my name is Q, and this is number three, episode three of Q-Tember, which is where I'm gonna be uploading 30 videos in 30 days. So I'm uploading every day. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that and watch the adventure and watch everything grow, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the post notifications on just so you're notified for when I upload. And real quick, before we get started, if you guys could do me a favor and head over to Instagram and follow me on there just because that's where I like announce a lot of things and it's just a good spot for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And also, I do have a Discord, so if you guys want to come and join the community and say hi or do whatever you want to in there. Go ahead and join that. The link for that is always in the description below. So yeah, if you guys don't know who Yeet is, you should probably go through his category on Spotify or YouTube. He's got this interesting, very unique vibe to him. He tends to rap over a lot of like rage beats, but his beats are kind of like this new uh, this new wave that's coming out right now. And I, I'm, I'm loving it. But yeah, his vocals are super dope. And the mix is actually not too hard to get. So I'll show you guys exactly what we did and how we could get that. So let's jump into FL Studio and start. All right, so step number one, I'm going to show you guys what will happen if you go to my website and actually get this template because in this video, I'm going to be using the template. That's what you're going to want. So you're going to download this file right here. You're going to double click it and you're going to open it up. You're going to notice it's a folder with 54 items in it. So the reason there's so many things in here is because I actually gave you guys the looped zip package which is a uh, option to save in fl studio and it'll actually save every single file so when you open this you're actually going to have my vocals you can mess around with them but yeah there's an flp right here you should see it in the folder and all you're going to want to do is double click that and that will open this exact file in your fl studio so what you're going to notice right away is we actually have we have the real song by yeet we have the instrumental and then we have a lead track but I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to just play it for you guys so you could actually see how this template sounds. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty accurate. So let's go ahead and break this down. So like I said, everything is stock and... The way you're going to want to do this is on this lead track. All right, so something cool about this is I actually only ended up using the lead track. I didn't make any ad lib tracks because I really didn't think you needed it. For the most part, all I did for anything that needed more reverb or delay, I would literally just make an automation clip and you can see these right here. So I'm going to explain this part right here, which might be a little bit confusing because if you've ever bought presets from anyone else before, they usually don't do it like this, which is how you should be mixing your vocals. You always want to bust your reverbs and your delays. And what I did is I have a reverb and a delay bus and then an extra FX bus right over here. And the way you control these is you click your lead track and you can see it's routed over to here. And this knob right here is what you want to adjust. You either bring it up or down. So 100%, if you bring this knob to 100%, you're going to get 100% reverb. And that's going to be a lot of reverb on your, on your vocal. If you bring it all the way down, you will have a completely dry vocal. So you use these knobs to adjust for reverb or this one to adjust for delay. Or if you want to add extra effects, you could use this knob right here. For example, right now, there would be none of this effect coming in. But if I drag it up all the way, now we have 100% of the effect. And the reason you usually like to bust like reverbs, delays, and some effects is just because you have the main signal that is completely dry being sent to another bus where the reverb is 100% wet and there's no dry signal in there. So it ensures that you don't have clashing signals and it doesn't cause any distortion or just bad frequencies. Yeah, so if you want to start recording on this track, all you would do is set your input. So mine would be input one. Just click that. Then you're going to enable, you're going to enable recording by clicking this button right here. And you want to make sure that it should say pre. If you click it once, it goes to post, but make sure it says pre. And I, I prefer to use Waves Tune, which is just like Auto-Tune but in my opinion, a little bit better. So if you have auto-tune, you're gonna to wanna to replace this plugin, or you could go and use FL Studio's default picture. We can just type that in. It should be right here. Yeah, and you're just gonna set the key of your beat right here. So if it's a minor scale, you'll set it here. If it's a major scale, you'll set it there. 
and then just whatever the key is. You could probably just keep your retune speed to fast. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the preset. Like I said, it's pretty much just a few clicks and then you guys are good to go and record. And then one more thing, I actually just dropped a mastering preset for Rage Beats. And what this does is just, it adds a lot more warmth and distortion to your master. It makes the volume a bit louder too. And I think it turned out really well. So let me show you guys what it sounds like without it. So this is a song without the mastering preset. Yeah, pull up now, we finna get busy. Yeah, pull up now, we finna get busy. And then we'll throw that mastering preset on. And this is the song with the preset. Yeah, pull up now, we finna get busy. And the way you would use this preset is just go to your master, right click, file, and you would download an FST and you would just drag it right into here. And the way you do that is you go to your mixer presets, right click, click system open, and you would drag that FST into this folder and then it'll show up and then it'll show up in this file dialog right here. And it's just right here. It's called Rage Master. And you just apply that and boom, your master is already set. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. And I hope you enjoyed the preset that we made today. If you guys do end up grabbing this, send me some stuff you make with it. That'd be dope. Yeah, I actually think this turned out super accurate. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. Stay tuned for the rest of the 27 videos that we have. Like I said, I'm uploading every single day in September. We got Q-Tember going, Quintember, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys in this video, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Deuces. Yeah,